So I'm going to start by uh, putting this out there to you, is why should you care about colorectal cancer screening, about CTC? And I'll let you know. Because you, at some point, will need screening. The American Cancer Society guidelines recommends that men and women age 50 and above who are asymptomatic and have uh, absolutely no family history need to get screened. So you, even if you have no family history and you're asymptomatic, will need to get screened. Someone you know already has colorectal cancer. Someone you know will develop colorectal cancer. Someone you know will die from colorectal cancer. And finally, colorectal cancer is essentially a preventable disease in most individuals. So as most of you know, uh, many of the colorectal cancers arise from this precursor adenomatous polyp, and this is where size counts. So the larger the polyp, the larger the risk of malignancy. And you can see why we call the one to five millimeter diminutive polyps inconsequential um, clinically, because there essentially is a 0% chance of uh, harboring malignancy. In the small polyp size category at six to nine millimeters, there's a less than 1% chance of harboring malignancy. And you can see that this increases with increasing size so that when you have a larger than uh, 20 millimeter polyp, you have over a 25% chance of it harboring malignancy. Now the good news is that when you have a 10 millimeter or smaller polyp, uh, the time that it takes to transition into an invasive carcinoma is actually quite long and it takes about 10 years. So this is a perfect malignancy for screening. You have a large window of opportunity where you can go in, identify this precursor lesion, and resect it and essentially prevent the cancer from ever occurring. So I always say that it's very different from lung cancer screening, it's very different from uh, breast cancer screening or prostate cancer screening, where the goal is to look for the, the uh, cancer itself. Here, we're actually looking for the precursor lesion. And these are just some of the uh, studies from the GI literature really documenting that for the tiny diminutive polyps, there really is a 0% chance of carcinoma. You can see that the uh, chance of advanced histology is also quite low for the one to five millimeter category uh, at less than 2%. Now the six to nine millimeter uh, polyp size category is an area of controversy, um, but you can see that the risk of harboring malignancy is quite low. I had said it was less than 1%. You can see here, have it at 0.8%. Um, the chance of advanced histology is at closer to 11%, and then that's the area that I think the gastroenterologists uh, have a problem with and state that these uh, uh, size uh, polyps need to come out.